Hello students, welcome to Sarvs's classes. My name is Ashmita and in today's class we are going to talk about the CMC Velour Entrance Examination that shall be conducted through online mode. Now CMC that is Christian Medical College at Velour um, conducts this university level entrance examination every year. Examination is conducted one time each year to offer admission in various undergraduate and postgraduate medical courses uh, except MBBS or BTS. Now candidates can get um, admission in BSc, MLT and so on in, in various other courses. Admission in MBBS or BDS courses uh, will be provided based on the NEET scores. In this video, uh, we are going to talk about the, in, uh, the entire details about CMC Velour, including its application form, its fees, its eligibility criteria, as well as exam pattern. Now here I'm going to talk about certain tentative dates which can change, but just because it has been released, uh, so I'm going to inform you right now. Talking about the registration date, uh, registration shall start from the second week of February this year and the last date for registration and fee payment is on the last week of March. Uh, the last date to upload your documents shall be in the second week of June this year and submission of the NET scores should be done by the fourth week of June. Admit card shall be released uh, by the month of October. Now, um, the examination uh, for Group A will be taken in October. For Group B, it will be taken in October, last uh, week of October or in November. Special test and interview shall be taken in November. Declaration of the results shall be done in November. Counseling registration will begin in November or December. Classes will commence from the month of November or December. Now, obviously, to give any examination, you have to fill up the application form. So, how will you fill up the application form for CMC Bellor? The application form will be released through online mode on the official website. Any offline facility will not be provided to fill in the application form. So, whatever you have to do, you have to do it online. Candidates will get the application form from the second week of February this year. So they can start filling up from, uh, at the, uh, from that time. And you have to fill in all the details carefully in the application form, including your personal, academic and all the other details which are required. You have to upload your scanned documents like your passport size photograph, your signature in the format, in the prescribed format, which would be mentioned. Candidates can apply for seven courses in Group A and, and for five courses in Group B. There will be no need to send hard copy of the application form and you just need to submit it online. The last date to submit your application form will be till the last week of March. You shouldn't forget uh, to take the printout of the application form uh, for your future references. Now, minimum application fee payment is required to successfully submit your application form uh, and your application fee will include the basic administrative fee of Rs. 800 as per the courses applied for and fee for Group A will be Rs. 500 and for Group B it will be Rs. 100. Candidates will be able to pay these fees online as well as uh, from, through, on, uh, through offline mode also. And uh, online payment will be done via credit card or debit card or any kind of net banking. Candidates can also pay via Chalan if you want to pay it offline uh, at any branch of ICICI Bank. The account number, account name, and all the details will be provided while you make the payment. Fee will be non-refundable under any circumstances. For any entrance examination, definitely you need an, a, a particular eligibility criteria that you should be fulfilling. Now, you, uh, as per the nationality, uh, Indian candidates are eligible to apply and your age limit should be lower, um, that, like your lower age limit should be minimum 17 years if you want to apply and your maximum age limit should, uh, should be 25 years. For undergraduate courses, if you are applying, then your qualification should be class 12th exam. You should be clearing it 
or any kind of equivalent examination which is uh, like equi equal to class 12th examination if you pass from any recognized court then also you are applicable to um, to apply for this UG course uh, the subjects that you should be having or must be having in your class 12th level uh, include physics mathematics chemistry and english and all these four subjects shall be in your class 12th um, uh, like pass certificate that and uh, you should have passed all these four subjects in the class 12th examination the minimum marks criteria that is required by the candidates is 50% uh, in aggregate and for the reserved category you have to get at least 45% marks applicants who are um, like uh, thinking of applying uh, for the PG courses then your qualification should be uh, a bachelor's degree from any recognized institute or college and your minimum uh, marks criteria should be 50% aggregate marks in your qualifying examination that's uh, in your graduation now here I'm going to talk about the exam pattern in details for the undergraduates and the postgraduate uh, applicants if you are applying for the undergraduate programs, then your mode of uh, application will be online um, and your examination will also be held through online mode. Now, the duration of the examination will be two hours for physics, chemistry and biology uh, chosen uh, applicants and it will be 70 minutes for general ability uh, section. And uh, the language of the question paper will be available only in English language. The marking scheme will be uh, one mark for every correct response and uh, no marks would be deducted for wrong answers. If you want to apply for the postgraduate uh, courses, then your mode of examination shall be online. You, uh, you will have to give the examination through online mode and you are going to get multiple choice questions which will be asked in the examination. And there would be 90 questions in total which will be asked in the question paper and you have to answer them. The marking scheme shall be one mark would be uh, provided for each correct response and no mark shall be deducted for wrong answers. Next, I'm going to talk about the syllabus of the CMC Bellore um, examination. Uh, the CMC Bellore syllabus uh, will be based on class 11th and 12th uh, class subjects. And subjects here, I have already mentioned that uh, that includes physics, chemistry, biology and English subjects. Official syllabus will also be released in the uh, official website through online mode uh, by the authorities and you should definitely check that because syllabus keeps on getting updated, right? So uh, new topics can get updated. So you, keep, you must keep on checking it. Syllabus for group A courses uh, except MBBS or BDS will consist of uh, chemistry, physics and biology subjects. For group B, uh, for group B courses, it will be uh, it will consist of questions from general uh, ability, then chemistry, physics, and biology subjects. So it's different for group A and group B. Here I'm going to talk about certain preparation tips that the applicants can follow. Uh, you can create a study plan and organize your space for study because a new environment or a new table in front of you can help you focus a lot in your uh, study routine. So create a study plan. You can go through the previous year's question papers and also solve them and practice them. Try to make a timetable and follow it on a regular basis. Try to complete the syllabus in time and I would suggest you before time you complete your syllabus and make short notes of the important topics. Try using colorful pens and try using highlighters so that you can make your study interesting also. Uh, your preparation should not become monotonous and it, it definitely should uh, create some sort of creativity. Uh, take regular breaks, of course, in between your studying and um, drink plenty of water. That will help you a lot in remembering also and it will also help you stay fit. You can eat healthy food and also do yoga and different exercises daily because all these things, why I'm telling you all these things, because these things help you concentrate a lot and focus in your studies a lot because everything is interconnected, right? Our health and body and mind, everything is interconnected. So if you keep your mind and body healthy, definitely you can concentrate and uh, and also score well in your examinations and definitely you, you can get admission through good marks. Talking about the admit card that you have to carry in the examination hall, that admit card will be released through online mode. Candidates will be able to download the admit card from the month of October. 
Admit card can be downloaded using login credential, which will include the application number that you have filled in and your password. Remember, while um, filling out the application form, you had to register yourself. That registration number, your uh, password, as well as your application number, that is the application form number that you have filled in and submitted. All those things are to be written down in a diary separately so, uh, so that you can use them for future references. Those are very much required. If you forget all those, then you won't be able to log in back and you won't be able to see your admit card or give it, give the examination or, be, or check the result also. So keep all these things separately written in a diary, which you keep it safe. It will be definitely necessary for the candidates to bring the admit card on the day of the examination. So you have to open the official website, you have to log in, you have to download the admit card and then you have to take a printout of it and then you have to take that to the, uh, to the examination hall. And also check the instructions which are mentioned in the admit card um, clearly because uh, many things, many instructions uh, are very important that you should be following. Uh, so follow the, those things uh, beforehand, carefully read them and just go to the examination hall. Now you, you can check your CMC Velour uh, result after your, entrance, after your examination in the month of November. Uh, in the month of November, it will be released in the official website. It will not be available through any offline mode. So you have to go to the official website. You have to keep, uh, keep your login details safe once again because through login details only, you are to log in to the official website and then only you can check your result. So once again, your login credentials are coming important. So result will be declared on different dates for both group A and group B. Result will include the details like your name, your total marks, your obtained marks, your roll number and so on. The next thing uh, that I'm going to talk about is about the candidates who get selected. The last round that they have to face is the counselling round. Now CMC Velour counselling will be organised after the final declaration of the result. Candidates will be called for this uh, counselling based on their result. Counselling will be organised in the month of November or it can also be conducted in the month of December. Counseling will be organized through offline mode. It will be necessary for the candidates to attend the counseling process. For admission in MBBS or BDS courses, counseling will be organized after declaration of the NET results. Seats will be allotted to the candidates on the day of counseling and after allotment of the seats, candidates will need to report at the allotted college with their original documents. So that was the entire discussion of uh, CMC uh, Velour entrance examination for different courses. If you want to study well and prepare well for this entrance examination uh, or any other entrance examination preparation if you are doing, then also you can do it under the guidance and uh, uh, under the supervision of our teachers. You can do it under the guidance of our teachers. We uh, at Saurabh's classes provide you with live lectures, recorded classes, uh, uh, recorded lectures also which are pro uh, provided to the enrolled candidates 24 into 7 which they can view from the portal. Uh, we provide the access to the portal of recorded lectures which they can view 24 into 7 and as many times as they want. We provide you with live lectures, recorded lectures, uh, live classes, doubt clearing sessions, revision classes, crash course facilities, scholarship facilities and also we provide you with mock test facilities and we also uh, solve the previous year's question papers, we solve the unsolved papers, we provide you with the sample paper solutions and let me tell you our uh, study materials are available on Amazon and Flipkart also and we provide you with, uh, with solved study materials for all the competitive examinations. Whichever entrance examinations or competitive examination you are preparing for, we are there to help you out with all those. So if you want to enroll with us and get all the benefits, then you have to check the description box below. There you will get our contact numbers and uh, you can contact us and enroll uh, yourself to our classes. And if you want to enroll from our official website, you can also do that. You just have to check the official website link in the description box below. Uh, you will get the official link that is www.sorapsisclasses.com. You can uh, get a glimpse of our classes from that official website also and you can enroll from there also. If you want to talk with us and uh, clear all your doubts and then enroll yourself, then also you can uh, check the description box below. There you will get our contact details. Do contact us and enroll yourself.
So that was all about our classes and that was all for today's class also. We are going to meet once again in our next classes.